This is it. You have one day until the election. The final push. Vote on the issues that matter to you. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton with just hours left in their battleground blitz. She gets in, it's a disaster. Local 10 News has complete coverage of both campaigns. And the campaigning is going late into the night tonight. More celebrity support for Hillary Clinton. The boss, Bruce Springsteen, just one of the big name stars at a rally in Philadelphia. And after this, well, Clinton has a big rally in Raleigh, North Carolina scheduled and is expected to be loaded with even more star power. And Donald Trump also working late into the night. He and his running mate held this rally in Manchester, New Hampshire tonight. The duo went off to Michigan right after. The polls opened in just a matter of hours. If you didn't vote early, tomorrow is your final chance to make your ballot count. Today was a fight to the finish to win over key swing states. And we have live team coverage on this eve of Election Day. Amy Viteri is live in New York at Clinton's campaign headquarters. Glenda Milberg is also live in New York at Trump's campaign headquarters. And Amy, we're starting with you tonight. Good evening. Well, good evening, Calvin. You said it. Hillary Clinton showing no signs of slowing down in these final hours of her campaign. Just within the last couple of hours, she wrapped up a huge rally in Philadelphia, speaking to tens of thousands of people, joined, as you said, by John Bon Jovi, Bruce Springsteen, along with her husband, Bill Clinton, and President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. Hillary Clinton making a star-studded final push Monday night. Clinton appeared at a rally in Philadelphia, joined by husband Bill Clinton and President Barack Obama. It's way better to lift somebody up than put people down. I am betting that tomorrow you will reject fear and you'll choose hope. But when you get to the porch. Rockers Bruce Springsteen and John Bon Jovi performed in a last effort to get voters to show up on election day. There is a clear choice in this election, a choice between division or unity, between an economy that works for everyone or only those at the top, between strong, steady leadership or a loose cannon who could put everything at risk. Meanwhile, Clinton's campaign rolled out one final ad Monday evening. The message aired during primetime nationwide, not just in key swing states, and presented a message of unity after what the Democratic candidate calls a long and divisive presidential campaign. I want to be a president for all Americans, not just those who support me in this election. In New York City Monday, organizers were putting the final touches on the stage at the Javits Center where the election party will take place Tuesday night as NYPD and Secret Service agents ramped up security around the venue. Campaign manager Robbie Mook told Local 10 winning Florida is critical. He believes early voter turnout in Florida will benefit Clinton but predicts it will be by the narrowest of margins. And you are looking at live pictures now out of Raleigh, North Carolina. As we said, Clinton is not done yet. She is set to hold one more rally there around midnight, again joined by her family, as well as performer Lady Gaga. Meanwhile, back here in New York, the Javits Convention Center, where Hillary Clinton will be holding her election party tomorrow evening, is closed. They asked all of the media to leave around 8 p.m. They will be doing a security sweep, and they will reopen that facility very early tomorrow morning. We're live in Midtown Manhattan. Amy Viteri. Local 10 News. Amy, thank you.